special Roman Entertainment Edition, or known as R.E.E. -E. Probably wondering why we're doing another edition-like uh, episode is because uh, I've got another project at school. Got to get that degree, though. Uh, so, um, Roman Entertainment. So, first I'm going to go through some of the activities that people did in Rome, such as swimming, horseback riding, wrestling and boxing, uh, running, which most of these they did um, at the Roman bathhouses, which is basically like your all-purpose center. Gyms, gardens, pools, bathing, stuff like that. Um, they also played uh, ball games such as handball, soccer, field hockey, and dodgeball. Uh, they would also play board games such as chess and Roman checkers. And they would go to public events such as chariot races, public executions, gladiator battles, and naval battles using giant arenas. Uh, and how they would do the naval battles is they would flood the arenas with water and then they would do the battle. Uh, uh, they would use certain arenas for certain things. For example, Circus Maximus was a chariot racing arena. And in fact... Using our technology we have here at the Davis Port, we have a field, our field reporter, Thomas Polk, in Circus Maximus. Yes, that's right, folks. We have invented time travel. So, let's go back there. Um, Thomas, so uh, what, what were these races like? Well, Davis, chariot racing is very fun and dangerous at the same time. Many spectators fall out of the stands and get run over by the racehorses. Thank God that hasn't happened to me yet. There are four teams, reds, whites, blues, and greens. Thomas, there's a chariot! Ready, 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 ready. Thomas, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I guess. I'm kinda dead. Can you finish the uh, report? I guess, but I'm gonna need a band-aid. Okay, uh, well, we'll let him go, folks, but... Uh, we hope he'll be back um, soon. Uh, so, um, another one of the events that uh, they did, uh, that they had every day, was the Roman dinner. Um, and the Roman dinner was very, very important in Roman society. Uh, it was basically every night they would gather and have cana, which is, which is Latin for dinner. Um, these feasts would consist of many courses. Hey, hey, wait a hint, dog! Thomas, you know yeah, what happened yeah. with Rob. Can I need another bandage over here. I, I, I my, honestly my kind of need to do this right now. This is not good. Help. Okay. Davis? Sorry, uh, sorry, folks. Um, they would consist of many courses, many different types of food, such as eggs, meats, you know, cheeses, fruit, you know, the basic, basic things that they would have back in the day. Um, they would also have different types of entertainment, such as singing, acting, you know. I was about to say singing. Yeah. Uh, the wealthier people would have slaves serve them as they recline. They would, like, hey, can we get a picture right here? Yeah, they would uh, recline kind of on couches, and they would eat their food uh, with the, either their hands or spoons. They didn't have forks or knives or anything like that. Uh, very unsanitary. That's what McDonald's does. Anyway... The wealthier, uh, I already said that, uh, they, rec they would recline and eat, some and sometimes the people would eat so much food that they would have to go throw up, <laughs> like like Thomas just did there, and yeah. and then they Hello? would uh, come Davis? back and eat uh, even more. Are you ignoring me? Hey. Hello? Hello? You know what? what? I'm sorry. Thomas, I'm done. I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm done. Sorry. I'm done with this entire thing. No. All right, let's, let's just cut, cut the no. camera. Cut the no. camera. All right, Until I'm next week. I'm Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty.